And it's another crazy, crazy banter, maze, apa, apa, ko boom sessions, you know. Tangalena, the place called me Padre, the real gangalena, niliwa show, ni vibe show fam, wenyewe, taking it to the next level. And I'm here with the beautiful, beautiful, groovy Joe, groovy Joe, groovy Joe, say something, man. Wagon, wagon. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, crazy. So I got um, some, some lovely questions I want to ask you. Mojambele, sindio? <laughs> Uh, so let's talk about um, your music first. Yes, How is your music doing? Uh, my music is good. I'm a, I recently dropped a single, uh, Joy Candy. It's available on all platforms. So if you haven't listened to it, you better go listen to it. <laughs> Crazy. I'm about to drop a tape as well. So I've dropped two singles, My Jirani and Joy Candy. So I'm about to drop a whole body of work. And I'm really excited about it because, yeah, it's, it's going to be fire. Crazy, crazy. You've had it for yourself actually for the first time. Hapa Evi Boom Sessions, these are the crazy banters I've always been telling you about, Maze. So, Groovy, I have just one, uh, like two questions for you. Um, so, number one, um, uh, can you share a bit of, uh, about your journey uh, as a musical artist and um, how you manage the financial aspects of your career? Um, so, uh, my journey has been really... Um, up and down. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been it's been amazing. Still, it's a beautiful story. Mm -hmm. um, my music has been growing over the years, and I love that. And I go, I've got a new fans, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's great. So with um, with my financials, it's always been a bit of a like um, it's a learning curve. It's a, an up and down type of situation. I feel like for most artists. Um, so what I would say about my financial management, it's gotten better. It's actually gotten better over the years. It's better than when I started, but it's gotten better over the, over the years, yeah. Okay. That's nice. Crazy. I hope I'm going to take notes. Eh? So uh, in your own words, eh? uh, what do you think are the financial challenges that surround creatives in Kenya right now? Um, I think the biggest financial challenge is financial management, financial illiteracy. You know, um, uh, creatives get money, but like since that's like their own source of livelihood, you find the money being blown off almost on everything, and then you're left with nothing. So I feel like creatives need to have, um, like, to need to be given like training or education on how to finance their, how to find, like, how to handle their finances, and also like on financial literacy, so that you don't end up being broke. I understand every creative who. <coughs> gets um, money off a show and ends up spending it on livelihood and ends up with nothing. That's pretty common with a lot of creatives, especially here in Kenya. Um, but what we need to do as a country and also as um, uh, yeah, as a country to support creatives is teach them on financial literacy, have like a sort of training with them, and uh, yeah, so that they can understand how to manage their finances. Okay, okay. Um, last one, last one, Paul Groovy. <laughs> So um, today to co-op a leadership center KCB and uh, to meongea, you've seen how KCB want to venture into the creative sector. What do you feel uh, like w just something and you want to feel one of kuangalia in that aspect of the creative sector? What do you think they can do to up the game or just to tweak it a little bit? It was like to say idea. Um, as much as people don't want to talk about the funding and saying, oh, it's all about structure, we need funding. As artists, we need funding for our production, we need funding for our events, we need funding for um, even like even like tapping into other industries, going outside of the country. You are, you're called out of the country or you have incredible talent, but you don't have funding because you don't have a means to an end. So what I would want to say th to K uh, KCB, thank you so much KCB for bringing this initiative or bringing creatives together and having these tough conversations on how you can support um, creatives. And I hope you've noted down what the creatives go through on a day-to-day -day basis, and that is the financial struggle, which is which has come out so clearly. Today is the financial struggle, the fi like um, the financial literacy, um, <coughs> also the aspect on marketing, production. Yeah, so yeah, thanks. Shout out to KCB and all the other um, companies that are trying to support the initiative, but number one, KCB. Big sh and big shout out to you, Grovy Joe, for having a talk with us. Tell the people where Watakupata, Namali Wataskiza is on Zikimpia's Nadro. Pama Vipi. Okay. I go by the name of Groovy Joe with the slimy flow, like you already know. And you can get my music on Instagram. Oh, and you can get me on Instagram at Groovy Joe. Who are you? And you can get me on Facebook at Groovy Joe. And you can get me on, um, what's that? What's that platform? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All of them, Groovy Joe. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> Awesome. You've heard it, and you've heard it only here exclusively. It's Groovy Joe, Tangale, and it's the Boom Sessions. Take it away. Rah!
Thank you. No, it's groovy.